So, so obviously you see all these. Uh, uh, oh, I, I, lately I've been very like thinking about wealth and stuff, uh, what it really means, and you know who really is rich, and when you're classified rich, mm-hmm. and what your, you know, if there if there is like a a, a checklist of like you hit a million dollars. You need to have this. You're being right? competitively wealthy, Quib. I can see this. You're like, all right, I'm one percent, huh? Am I one tenth of one percent? Am I a one tenth of one percenter? Right, right. <laughs> so, so I'm just, I'm just curious. Sometimes when I'm bored, right? So you have all these. Uh, uh, let's start off. Let's start off uh, uh, fairly low on the richness scale, right? You have all these YouTubers, and they, they get a car. They get Louis Vuitton, this Gucci, Gucci. You know, all the designer clothes. In reality, they're broke, right? Yes, you might be driving an expensive car, but it depreciates in value. You could have invested that money to make more money for you. Uh, you're paying insurance, you're paying parking, you're paying this, you're paying that. These guys, they don't have any money. If you, have, if you drive an expensive car, it doesn't mean much. It just means that you bought an expensive car. Um, same thing with all these designer clothes and stuff like that, right? If you're buying art, it can keep its value. If you're buying real estate, it can keep its value. Um, or, or make you more money. So, so after that, you, you, you get into the range, like let's say you're a million to $10 million. Uh, you got your investments going. They're making you money. Um, but then pretty much what you see right after that, it's like, oh, you have a nice car, you have a nice house. The next step is you have a private jet and you have a yacht, right? That's a but quantum what, leap. But yeah, what is in between, leap. right? What is in between? And um, I... Like, there's no guidebook for it, which says, well, if you're making this much money, you should probably uh, get a chef or something like that, right? What purchase are you bouncing around that's making you think? A think personal about this? trainer that drives you to the gym seems pretty right? good. That's what, because, because right now I'm thinking, let's say you have so much money, you should start taking care of yourself too, right? And not the, not the usual way of, okay, I can go to the movies twice a week now and get the large popcorn. Or I can go out for dinner a bit more a often. on the nose, that one, Quib. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But, hey, I, that's what I think, too, when I'm going to, like, the, the movies. I'm like, you know what? I can afford the, the hot dogs now. You know, I'll get a nice hot dog. I'll get a little bit of candy. A little bit too much food. I know I'm not going to finish it, but I just like to snoop around. Yeah, yeah. sure. You're treating yourself, and, and you can. But the, the real things you should be thinking about is, okay, I can afford a personal trainer, which can really make my life much better. I can live longer because of it. I can feel better because of it. But at what point do you do that, right? Same thing with a chef. Same thing with a, 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 um, a maid or whatever, you know, a butler. Who knows? A driver. Um, and the same thing of like, where do you draw the line of flying commercial uh, economy to business class, to first class, to private, to world, to charter, private to you know having your own private jet right like where are these lines and when do you when should you have a bodyguard looking after you right yeah um, these are problems i don't have <laughs> no but but it's 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 interesting to these think are about real, it is interesting yeah, it is. to think it about I'm, I'm not there but you could be and it's like huh you know like maybe a cook would be great right? probably and cheaper then, than a wife <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah definitely but like at, at the age you're at queb i feel like you wouldn't even want a live-in chef or a chef that's not even living that's that would another, come by that's another be thing like, right hey, i'm at the age where maybe i can put some of that money a small percentage into like private cooking classes or something so i'll this is yeah. just a new thing i'll develop you know but the personal trainer thing makes a lot of sense yeah so so i actually do have a personal trainer in the netherlands and it's it's not that expensive if you think about it he charges about uh, it's like five hundred uh, to a thousand euros a month. Um, I'm wh- thinking which... to myself to allow me to interrupt. But are what you talking... level of ginormous wealth does it take to drag your twisted priority ass to the doctor to get your lower back looked at? Is that one million, three million, no, nine okay. million? Hey, I have it. It's on my list. Oh, Actually, oh never mind. Today <laughs> I had the conversation with a girlfriend. I actually went to. I actually need to go to the doctor tomorrow. I do go to the doctors, okay, because I, I had some rib pains, and they're like, maybe it's your gallbladder. you got to go for an x-ray. Um, but I, I haven't – it didn't cross my mind to then also ask, like, hey, by the way, my lower back hurts. Maybe you should get that checked out too. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. So don't, don't worry, Dad. <laughs> the thing is, I, 
It'll be fine. I went through a phase. I don't want to call it that. Like there was a time in my life where I also didn't like make the right medical decisions. I didn't like know that I should do that, that that should be a priority. And I thought about it and like, we would take our kids to the doctor at appropriate times, but I wouldn't take myself. And, uh, eventually it's like, you know what? That is a mistake. Why am I only I, half 